Good morning, Shoe family, and welcome to Thursday, October 28th. We're going to get started with our pledge, Moment of Silence and Roar Pledge. So I'm going to ask that you stand and join me at this time. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silent reflection. And now for our ROAR pledge. I pledge to respect school policies, roles, staff members, and students. I pledge to show outstanding effort in school. I pledge to attend school daily and on time, and I pledge to be responsible in all school settings. Remember, we're tigers, and we roar to achieve. All right, you may be seated at this time, and let's get started with those announcements. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Thursday, October 28th. Our quote for today is, you're capable of more than you know. So yes, you may not think you can do something, but as I always say, never say never. You might think you can never be a runner, and the next thing you know, you are one because you've practiced, tried, and gotten better at it. All right, for our uh, fam time today, we're doing those grade checks, Schoology checks, and missing work checks, and those are super important this week as our marking period is going to be coming to a close. Very little time left in this first marking period, so let's make sure those grades are where they need to be. And Mr. Stork is not here today, so the 8th grade choir will be practicing on Friday instead of today. So today, 8th grade course is canceled during enrichment. 8th um, graders are going to be on Friday, and 6th um, and 7th graders will see you guys next week. All right, we're hoping folks are still going to be applying to be those awesome journey agents. And today, uh, we are uh, celebrating October as Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and Miss Curtis is putting on an awesome seminar uh, during uh, the enrichment time today. So I am super excited to hear about that. I'm sure it is going to be amazing. Um, I have some exciting news uh, in that we finally uh, have our results from the Penny Wars, and it is amazing. Uh, we closed the competition with uh, raising $1,604.63. You guys are amazing. That was like the best uh, fundraiser ever and the most fun, I have to say, for sure. Uh, so we have some winners here, and we are excited to say that uh, the overall grade level winner was 7th grade. So my 7th grade will be earning a dress down day uh, and will be announcing that in your shoe fam classes. And um, we also want to let you know that we have uh, the other winners are homeroom winners. In 6th grade, the winner was De Miss Devonshire's class, 7th grade, Mr. Milham's class, and 8th grade, Miss. Boggs class and those three classes will be uh, getting some awesome donuts to celebrate with um, I believe tomorrow during fam I'll keep you updated on that and this also means that you're going to get a chance to uh, those three classes will get a chance to uh, color up the admin team in a color run we'll let you know the date about that that will be announced and then also uh, the admin will be doing a blue hair day as well as uh, costumes and also putting Mr. Priestley in a hamster ball so those will all get announced and uh, you will get told what those so awesome are. job on the penny wars uh, also today uh, raffle winners um, you are going to be coming uh, to room one two three today and tomorrow to collect your awesome prizes congratulations to all of you uh, dr. James has sent out information about that and a reminder um, a reminder is to vote for your favorite pumpkin so uh, I will be showing you a video right now uh, to see all the amazing pumpkins and then um, teachers are going to be sharing uh, a Google Doc it's in the um, PBS folders where students can vote so take a look at this video of the awesome work our staff did on their pumpkins all right shoe fam here I am live with the pumpkins from the shoe cafe I'm gonna take some time right now to show you these pumpkins and their numbers and then miss Brendel will be giving out instructions for voting so here we go all right let's get started with number one this is the Zen pumpkin right there for you. Then we move it along to number two, Pumpkin of the World. Check it out, pretty cool. And moving back to number three. Uh, obviously this pumpkin has had a bad 
trick-or-treating. Ate way too much. I think I see some organs in there. Oh, dear. All right, then we have number four. Oh, this one has a message with it. Dear Mrs. Savage, please excuse Jack from school today. He's not feeling well. Sincerely, Mrs. O'Lantern. I don't know why he's not feeling well. Again, that's number four. Moving along to number five. Totally adorable here. Our kitty cat pumpkin. Moving it along again to number six. Awesome puzzle pieces. And I'm going to guess this really supports our awesome dad program right here. All right, and then number seven. I'm being told it has to do with geometry, but I don't know, folks. I feel like it really talks about something else. Then here we go, number eight. Ooh, super scary, awesome Jack Lantern classic. That is number eight. And then on to number nine. This guy, the pink, you can't truly see the color, is great on video, but it is a beautiful pink with a nice little book here. And look at that glowing, I love it. And then we've got number 10. Oh my goodness, the eye pumpkin. Here we go, very scary, very awesome, very artistic. Number 10. All right, so now the challenge is you've got to vote for your favorites again instructions will be coming up about how to vote but those are our awesome faculty pumpkins thanks to miss brendel for arranging that awesome competition and see you later and i have one more announcement and one shout out girl scouts will begin on tuesday november 2nd so please see miss nelson this morning during fam for a transportation letter so girl scouts are starting next week see miss nelson to get your transportation letter and miss boggs has has an awesome shout out. She would like to shout out to four powerful, positive, and persistent peer editors, Aiden Jones, Zane Wells, Curtis Bird, and <clears throat> Gareth Howe, who worked diligently on reading each other's creative stories and offered positive feedback to help improve the writing of their fellow classmates. Keep up the excellent work and continue to show your leadership skills. And I love that shout out because it's so specific to certain things those students did. I love it, love it, love it. That sounds amazing. Um, I also want to shout out to my awesome book study folks yesterday. I appreciate all the staff that stayed after for that. And I am truly looking forward to the amazing work we're going to do. All right, let's get to those birthdays. All right, on October 28th, a very happy birthday goes out to Darius Fletcher, to Adrian Manessas Torres and Nayana Rivera. We hope that you guys have amazing birthdays today, uh, and I hope that everybody has a thoughtful, terrific Thursday.